I think it knows it's trapped. I don't know why. Maybe there's a way to, I don't know, reason with it. Being in Dr. Weir's old office made you think of that, didn't it? Normally, I just shoot the bad guys. We just heard. There must be something we can do. Well, that's what we're talking about. OK, let's say for a second that you could somehow communicate with it. What were you planning on saying? I don't know. I hadn't gone that far. It strikes me that if it feeds on fear, or worse, likes the thrill of killing its host, then well, it would take the last chance it had. To kill McKay. What about survival? It's trapped. Will it die without a living host to transfer to? I was hoping not to find out. We could give it a chance to leave. Go home. Back into the crystal. Yeah, sure. Why not? Send it through the gate back to its planet. I've heard of people being talked through waking dreams before. Maybe, maybe McKay can be hypnotized into a state where he could somehow communicate with it. He has successfully meditated into an altered state before. Yeah, that was after he was genetically altered. I'm sorry, what? You want McKay to ask this thing to leave? We are talking about McKay. Scary things are not exactly his strength. And he is up against a creature apparently capable of manipulating his subconscious. I wish there was a way for one of us to get in there. Into McKay's dreams? Yeah, you know, help him out, give him a little moral support. Come on. All the things you've seen, you've never come across a way for one person to get into another person's dreams. Where's she going? What's going on? I don't know, but I think I'm about to see a side of McKay I never wanted to see. It does not have to be you. It's my bad idea. What was? What? We first encountered the technology 10 years ago on a planet where the survivors of a Holocaust were living entirely in a virtual world created in their minds. Since then, we've managed to modify it for use in the VR training of SG team members. It only took some minor calibrations to tune it into subconscious activity. So Shepard is actually going to see McKay's dreams? Well. To be honest, the technology is untested for use in this manner. Dreams are much more random than conscious thought. It may be difficult for the system to translate what's going on in McKay's brain so that Colonel Shepard can understand it. I'm just hoping that the two of them will be able to interact somehow. You sure about this? Not really. I'm pretty screwed up. You're telling me. We're ready if you are. Thanks. I haven't done anything yet. For trying. And don't say I didn't warn you. Administering sedative. Nothing's happening here. He's not dreaming yet. <laughs> 